and showing some big time stuff so far this year as Thatcher Hurd. So we'll see if Thatcher Hurd. So that would play well today. A breaking pitch catches a piece of the upper part of the strike zone and Straten is called out. White got hurt early and missed a lot of time. Cruz comes on, leaves his feet and makes the catch. He made a brilliant running catch on a very deep fly ball near the wall yesterday. Cruz with another chance. Back to the infield, sprinting. Does he locate it? Yes, he does. Back to back, very nice plays by the fleet-footed Dylan Cruz. Swing and a miss. That one had a little twist to it as it got to the plate. Second strikeout for Hurd. He's faced six. He's retired them all. All of the uh, Tigers this weekend have been wearing the camouflage baseball hats. And, Ben, that's to honor the uh, LSU-designated military weekend. And in keeping with that theme, before the game, a very stirring moment. A 96-year-old World War II veteran got out of his wheelchair to throw out the first pitch. Yes. Got a standing ovation and a lot of clapping and cheering after that. This is a place where fans still sing the national anthem yes. when it's presented before the game. Love it. And this is a place where veterans will have a salute to the flag during the national anthem. Oh, here's the 96-year-old veteran from World War II. There are precious few World War II veterans remaining. Paul and it's, it's a stirring moment. Good to see Paul Skeens catch that pitch, too. You know, came from Air Force, did Skeens, transferred and, into LSU. And, and Paul Skeens insisted that a photographer take a picture of him uh, before they left the field. You could, you could tell it meant something to him, a special, a special, too. But come on out in full throat to the ballpark and sing the national anthem when you come out to Alex Box Stadium, Skip Bergman Field. That veteran we showed you, by the way, is Floyd Nicholas Orso. There's that picture that, that uh, Paul Skeens yep. insisted that, uh, that he take. Get under the glove, right? A call third strike rips the inside edge. Three strikeouts in a row for Hurd and four on the day. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. Let's take a look at these, Ben McDonald. Four strikeouts in a row, five on the day for her. Yeah, really good slider for the first strike out of the inning. Then paints a fastball around the inside part and finishes it off with a really nice fastball kind of up and away. Here's Paxton Kling. He's on a six-game hitting streak. Make it seven. Kling bangs one off the glove of McDonald at third base. And that's rerouted into left field, which was also a ground ball. How deep will this travel? It's up, 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 away, home run. Dylan Cruz, number five, off the auxiliary scoreboard in right center field. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Dylan Cruz, off to a remarkable start in 2023. And a lot of his home runs have been the other way. Yeah, and when he starts letting it travel like that, Will Lynch went to the well one too many times, trying to sneak yet another fastball by Dylan Cruz, and he would have none of it out to right center field. Tigers take a 2-0 lead. Four starts and only four walks. A cold third strike. That's five in a row. Pretty much says it all. Klein bangs that one into right field. That's the first base hit. A solid liner by Stephen Klein. A base on balls to steal. That was a good at bat. As good as anybody in the country. 3-0 and oh, and a four-pitch pass. So things are starting to come unraveled. Have come in this inning. Ground ball left side. They'll take the out at second base. Thompson to Dugas covering. And Hurd indeed casts ice on the would-be rally. The next strikeout will be number seven for Hurd. And there it is. McDonald took a pitch that broke right over the middle of the plate. Seven strikeouts for Hurd. Gavin Guidry is warming up for the Tigers. And that breaking pitch did not bite at all other than taking a piece out of Dugas. The 2-2 pitch. Grounded right side beyond the diving Staten at second base. Kling with two more base hits today.
Kling Kong. This year, a reversal, and this year is much more like his freshman year. Did that hit him? It did. That's off the mitt on an inside pitch, and a run scores. But why not? There's ball four. Combination throwing in the LSU bullpen. Ground ball hit sharply to short for one. Plenty of time to make the turn. Tommy White hit it very, very hard, but right at how to straighten the climb for the double for the uh, double play. Dugas and Kling have scored. Hot ground ball winds up in the glove of Staten on one hop, and he turns it into an out. Next Sunday, there's a five-pitch pass. That fastball at 94 and a half. It will be right here on the SEC ESPN Network. That breaking pitch is swung on and missed, and it got away from Neal. Kling has to retreat in a hurry. Still running, still running, still running. He's got it as he bangs up against the wall. Cooper would love to get a strikeout here. Ground ball up the middle. Fielded behind second base by the shortstop Jordan Thompson. He makes an accurate throw to first. Clover, where he led Arizona his first year in appearances as well. Kling retreats. This is a bit of an easier play. Offensively is anything close to SEC competition, but still happy that you have joined us today and uh, every day for LSU baseball. There's a base hit to get things started. Morgan has walked on four pitches. Very professional-like approach. He has walked now 17 times. White hits it deep. Rodriguez back. A four-run swing. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. One Tiger scores. Another Tiger scores. A third Tiger scores. And Tommy White rounds third after a grand slam home run. Come on now, T. White. That's how you bust it wide open. Tommy White gets a count in his favor. Boy, sitting on a fastball and he gets one middle. And he knew it the instant it touched his bat. Straightaway center field for Tommy White. His fifth long ball of the season, his 23rd RBI, and a little bat flip at the end just for fun. Ball four. Runner is off from first base and again, essentially ignored. Smashed on a line into left field. Thompson comes around to score and Jared Jones sends a stream of milk out to left field. Until Tommy White finally puts it out of reach. Malazzo bangs one deep to right center field and that is off the glove of the diving Rodriguez. Jones on his way to the plate. He makes it standing. Alex Malazzo cranks one deep into the right center field gap. Ball four. This is hit deep to left center field. Way, way back, and there it is. Kling Kong one more time. Home run number three on the season, a three-run blast, and this game will be over when Paxton Kling touches the plate as the Tigers erupt in the seventh inning and take care of business. Tigers scored nine runs in the seventh inning to walk it off.